Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zercher and today I'm going to be demonstrating the Basque stitch. Grab a needle and some thread and come along and stitch with me. It's a great stitch. I'm going to demonstrate it in a number of different threads. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, click on that bell for email notifications, and leave me comments. I love hearing from you. Leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comments section, and don't forget to check out the description section where I leave all kinds of links to things that you might find interesting. Come and join me. I'm doing the Basque stitch in this silk and pearl mermaid dances and I'm going around my trellis stitch here. I just ended my thread and I'm going to show you by putting my thread down into this and I'll show you this is the way you would begin the thread if it was a brand new stitch as well as if you're beginning a new length of thread having already started. It's the same no matter what you do. So you come up, you're going to go down with your needle and come up the distance you want the basque stitch, the length of it to go out. You're then going to take your thread under the needle and then wrap it around the front counterclockwise. It's gonna make a figure eight, right? You pull your needle through, and I want this stitch here, right here, this bottom, I want it to lay flat against my applique shape, or my, in this case, my trellis stitch. So I'm just going to tweak it until that's where I want it. I then anchor my thread here at the top of the loop, and I come back down right to where that first stitch is coming out right next to it. I'm going to pull my thread through and now I'm going to take my next stitch, thread under the needle, wrap it around, and I can even pull it up a little so that I don't have to really tweak it so much. Pull my thread through, there it is. Anchor that top needle down for the next, for the beginning of the next stitch. I can make these rays as long or as short as I want. It will change the look of the Basque stitch as well as how close I put these stitches together. So these are a little bit closer together and shorter than the beginning, just so you can see what the difference is. So you can see these are getting smaller. I got these larger. And now I'm going to go back to this sort of size. And if you wanted, you could do every other, you know, a small one and then a long one. Um, that could be really pretty too. And now I'm going to do my last stitch right where my thread came up for the first stitch. So that it's a seamless, non-ending. You don't, you cannot tell where it began and where it ends. And with the circle, you know, I, that's, that's actually important to me. And now I'm going to anchor that stitch down and that's it. It's pretty, isn't it? Silk and pearl. I'm now going to show you what it's like in a number five weight eleganza, and I've threaded up a number 18 chenille needle. I have another circle here. This is my yo-yo that I did in Dupioni silk. This stitch, the Basque stitch, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it's exactly the same. So whether you're using your left hand to stitch it or your right, you're still going 
in the counterclockwise position, it's all the same, same action. So I come down at the edge of my, of my applique. I come up the way that I want. This thread is going to go underneath the needle and then around the top counterclockwise. I pull my thread through I'm going to anchor that top come up keep my thread under going to the left I'm going to I'm sort of randomly changing the length to just because why not I can kind of fun to just play around with the different ways you can use this stitch and how it can be changed or look different. see how it looks with the number five eleganza the silken pearl and now i'm going to do it in a large thread a three-weight thread and i will show you what that looks like as well i'm using the uh, soft cotton wilhelmina so i'm keeping these as you can see fairly close together and i'm also keeping them quite short i like that better than when i do the really long ones and farther apart Although I did like uh, the way the Silk and Pearl came out, which was not so close together, and I kind of staggered the length. quite a bit. You can see that if you did this in a shepherd's silk or a seagrass or you could use gimp or aurora, any of those would look really beautiful. Um, you could use ribbon floss for that matter. It'd look really pretty. I hope you found this helpful and if you haven't tried the Basque stitch, um, I hope this would in this encourages you to try it in different thread weights and see what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Click on that bell to get an email notification and leave me comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out the description section. That's where I put all the links to all of these threads that I'm using. 
in the uh, description section. Until next time, here's to stitching together.